Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we use stock plugins to create an Instagram perfect vocal chain. If you're on Instagram, Facebook, Reddit, or any of the social media platforms out there, I'm sure you've seen some of these audio engineering cheat sheets. They do offer some valuable information, and I actually like finding a lot of them and dissecting them and really finding out what the creator of these posts was thinking in a recent live stream, I went over the perfect vocal chain. This was an image I found on Instagram and we dissected it. So what I did is I recreated the exact same effects that are in the post using only stock plugins. Things like Pro EQ, the Fat Channel, and the Stock Compressor, all working together to create what is one of the internet perfect vocal chains. So what you're about to see is clips from that live stream summed together to just get to the point. When I go into these live streams, I'm usually much longer. I'm answering questions from chat. So actually come and join some of these live streams. I live stream every Friday night right here on YouTube. But for now, let's get into the clips of this live stream and look at the perfect vocal chain. And what we're going to be doing is let me remind you, we're going to be building this. This is our cheat sheet. I'm going to say it again. Tune your vocals first. Tune your vocals first. Anything you do might throw off the algorithm. Then you follow it up with some surgical EQ. In this instance, we're going to use Pro EQ. If you have a different EQ that you want to use, by all means, use it. Before we do anything, let's listen to these vocals. I do have some effects going on, and you're going to hear that um, just because I think there's auto. I know there's automation going on in this song as well because I mixed it. Uh, and this, like I said, this is the mix session, but let's listen. We've done nothing with Pro EQ. It's just there. Let's listen first. And we'll pull open our cheat sheet. Compression for tone, or I like the fat channel. It gives us lots of different options. So you go to your compressor, and I would suggest going with the tube comp. This has lots of tone, it has control. And we felt like we could fly. We're doing a little bit. I think I want just a touch more. And we felt like we could fly. Let's do a quick before and after. And we felt like we could fly. And we felt like we could fly. Then this it would say go for DSing. Now, there is no DSer plugin inside Studio One, but you could just throw on the stock compressor. And there is a preset underneath vocals called DSer S1. And we felt like we could fly up to the sky. There's not a ton going on. So in this perfect vocal chain, we don't need DSing. Not now anyway. Let's move on to our next thing. Looking at our cheat sheet. Now our tonal EQ. The next two steps are tonal EQ and then dynamic compression. So why don't we do exactly that with the fat channel. Vintage EQ. This is based on a 1084, a Neve 1084. If you want tonal EQ, go with a Neve EQ. When we're adding EQ, you should do it in the track, so we'll take this out of solo. And we felt like we could fly. So we've done this. Now we need to follow this up with dynamic control compression. We're gonna stay right in here. 
We're going to go to the compressor. We could use stock. Why do that? We can use our old friend, the FET compressor. Okay, so let's dial in some compression. And we felt like we could fly up to the sky. We had a good life. Okay, and then let's check it in the track. And we felt like we could fly. Okay, in solo, bypassing everything we've done so far. So here's what we started with. And we felt like we could fly. And our after. And we felt like we could fly. Uh, let's check our cheat sheet. Saturation. Stock plug-in for that. Red light. Saturation on a vocal. We just want some warmth. We want some harmonics. Bypass. And we felt like we could fly. And we felt like we could fly. And now we'll listen to it in the track. And we felt like we could fly up to the sky. We had a good life. The last thing on our cheat sheet is resonance suppression. At this point, really assess things within your mix. Maybe you need a little bit of suppression, but at, but for this, maybe you just need a little EQ at the end, just to get rid of something that is poking out too much at this point. And we So right there and up to the sky, there's just a tiny little like low resonance going on for me. So I'm just gonna throw up in another pro EQ. Up to the sky. Up to the sky. We had a good life. So there you go, a little bit of reduction on an EQ at the end. And what am I doing? 2.7 dB of reduction. This is static. There is no dynamic EQ option in Studio One, at least yet. Do I know of anything coming? No, I don't. So there you go. That's how to recreate the perfect vocal chain according to Instagram in Studio One using only stock plugins. And I've made this available to you. I've put it up on the PreSonus Exchange. So here it is. This is the exact thing you should look for when you go to PreSonus.com. You can go into the exchange and if you just search for Tim Talks Audio, you will find the vocal chain and everything that I created. Pro EQ, fat channel, into the compressor, the fat channel again, then red light distortion, and another Pro EQ. Make sure you dial these to your song. This isn't a set and forget, put it on and it's perfect. You do have to do a little bit of work to make sure that you're not overdoing things in your song or not doing enough in your song. So take this chain and dial it into your productions. Then let me know how you think it works in the comments below.
That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. For more, visit timflanswam.com or come join the live streams Friday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. And if you have a question, ask it in the comments and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.